pretty good right there. Yeah, sounds good. It's just like your chest was overshadowing your like yeah. your abs. So you guys have been asking for, you guys have been wanting my shoulder and chest workout and I'm the people's champ, so I give you guys what you want. All right, the cat wants to watch my pre-fight weigh in here. So this will be with the phone. About 171.4. Three days ago, I got to like 167, but like my body like crashed from all the cutting and all the calorie deficit I've been doing for like the last several weeks. So I've been refeeding the last three days. So I ate at maintenance the last three days. So my weight just instantly came back up to about 171, which I like to get down to like maybe 165 by the end of things. I used to be lean. I used to be so shredded at 165. So I want to get there in around June or July. So this is my pre-workout I basically do every time I go to the gym because I lift in the mornings. So I start with a banana and like just a serving of pretzels. The pretzels digest fast with the bananas a little bit slower. So this hits me pretty early and doesn't mess with my stomach. And then I have this, which gives me energy for the end of my workout. All right, so after my pre-workout meal. You need fat. Oh. <laughs> 174.7 so all right so my brother's trying this black magic pre-workout um their protein is super good anything black magic i have a discount use mario at checkout code mario uh, i'm a big fan of this cookies and cream one that tastes super good but my brother's using this their pre-workout and um i personally use this gorilla mode pre-workout which I'll also put, I'll put the Amazon link in the description. I'm a big fan of this one, but uh, my brother really likes that one too. So if you use that one, you get, do get a discount. So we just got to the gym now. If you want the rest time reps, all the specifics, that'll be on my Patreon, which I'll put in the description. And if you want, like, if you're like hardcore, you can also join the athletic bodybuilding community, which will also be in the description. But if, you know, with the workout, you'll kind of learn what an athletic bodybuilding shoulder and chest day looks like and i'll also link my athletic bodybuilding kind of like tutorial so you kind of know what and how to structure your athletic bodybuilding workouts all right so we'll be doing eccentric lateral raises so we're gonna throw the weight up and control it on the way down most people don't eccentric you overload their mid delt so when you do this you'll probably see your shoulders explode because it's a different kind of stimuli that you're not used to Now I'm gonna finish up with just a normal set of lateral raises, not eccentric. I'm gonna go to failure on this one to really fatigue the muscle and make it grow because those mid delts are what give you that Leon Edwards physique. So now we're doing a military press. If you don't have a strong military press, at least 0.75 times your body weight, you want to start with this one and then do lateral raises. But if you get strong at the military press, you get the privilege. You've earned the, the lateral raises first. So now I'm going to do military press um, for the front delt. Good. Light shoulder pump. 
You guys like the trap flex? Here's my trap flex. And then just... You see that calf flex? People should fall. I have a calf vein. Come on. You see that? That is insane. <laughs> this is the peak of calf genetics right here. Both of us. He doesn't know how to flex his lats, so I'm gonna teach him how to flex his lats. There you go. Here we go. Here. Now flare it. There you go. Down. And there you go. So people were asking how I, I do that motion, it's that right there. You gotta bring your elbows in and then also kind of flare out. So go. I'm the 135 version. Alright, so now just face pulls for the rear delt. A physical therapist's favorite exercise. I hate how the music. Alright, now hitting chest. Believe it or not, you don't get that much weaker when you hit chest after shoulders. This is a little bit more than about 185. It might be a little less than 185. So I'm gonna crank that out. I'm a big fan of the one that goes up to down to target the upper chest, but we're targeting like the middle chest or the lower chest. Remember, the chest only has two heads, not three like these bodybuilders say. We're targeting more of the lower portion. Of the chest. Incline bench press. Even though we're doing it last, we're doing it for more volume than the other two because the upper chest is harder to grow and it looks better. It's more aesthetic. You don't want that Andrew Tate looking chest. guys quick chipotle hat you just walk into the chipotle and then find someone's name that you think you'd like the chipotle bowl so uh we took billy's chipotle here um looks pretty great we got two bowls here one for me one for my brother and uh, we're gonna rate billy's chipotle bowl but before some butthurt bodybuilders go oh mario stole so much chipotle we bought this chipotle okay don't worry about it okay so we just parked back home we're gonna have our chipotle and probably a protein shake remember use code mario at checkout best protein by far and yeah hope you guys enjoyed the shoulder and chest workout i plan on doing a leg one soon um thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time